Hi Libra, this is Alia and I'm back with your love reading for the month. Uh, so this is uh, April 2021 and this is your love reading. We are using the Muse Tarot. I have uploaded a review of this if you're interested in watching it. Um, also, this is a, a zoomed in version of your general monthly reading. If you're interested in watching that, it's already been uploaded. So you can go check that out. So we're zooming in right now. What we're doing here, we're getting the general energy of your love uh, here. And then we're going to talk about you as being a Libra sign um, and your love uh, relationships. And if you're here because you're interested in a person that is a Libra sign. And then the actions that you need to do to make your situation a little bit better. Okay, if it's bad, because it doesn't seem to be that bad. Anyways, let's just explore. All right, so what we have here, as we already said in your general uh, monthly reading, and I hope that you have watched that so that you understand, because I'll be referring to it, um, is this. Because you're going through a period that we said that your finances and your work, uh, it seems to have a great flow, and you're doing a lot of things right now, uh, we see that you're not so... Um, interested only in the relationship aspect so you're not investing a lot of time there you're trying to do other things and maybe do a lot of things we already said that you're being a little bit um or a little bit a little bit more than you should emotional when it comes to uh the way you feel and it's your perspective and the way you see things so over here we do uh, reinforce this is being reinforced we just see this happening because you are very into your emotional um self and you need to get out of that because you start feeling that people don't understand understand you so you're keeping a distance you feel that people don't uh, respect don't understand don't want to be part don't uh, uh, want to help We're, which is not true because we saw that there is a lot of support coming in that you're not acknowledging right now because you're used in a different way of um, things happening in your life and right now seems just don't think to work don't seem to work in that direction so you're pulling away so it's something that you're doing it's not you're pulling away as um staying away from people it's like even if you are with um a specific group of people you just feel that you don't belong there so it's more even if you're in a relationship you're gonna start questioning your relationship um trying to understand it try to see if there's a support if they really love you if they really care uh how you feel how they feel so there's a lot of uh, doubts coming up but that is just because you're being too emotional because you're investing your time doing other things and the thing is that over here you do have what it needs what you what you need so if you would come across as a little bit more um better in your communication with uh your other half your partner your uh, spouse whatever that is then you would you would be um in a, in a situation that you could find solutions so if you instead of trying to figure out if they care just ask uh why do i feel that you don't care what what is happening and they'll explain things to you and they will do things in a different way because you do get the support although you don't you don't feel like it's there so if you are dating or seeing or be, you're married in uh with um a libra sign right now it's just they're going through a phase and the how you can really support them is by bringing in new vibes and new inspirations and and new ideas and take them off what they have their mind and just give them the break the short break out of their daily routine that just makes them feel so good being with you so don't try to bring in the problems right now don't try to um ask for uh solutions make them um, don't add more uh weight on them because they already have a lot going on and they're not in the mood to go through that right now so what you can do is try to figure out what is right and what is wrong by yourself and then just give them the part that it's easier for them it's not a period that they need um to struggle more because they already inside feel that they're suffering um because you, they just perceive reality as a little bit harsher than it is. But that's just their perspective and you have to respect that because it's a, a chance for them to grow and understand what is happening in um, in the world to get the lessons that they need to move on and proceed with uh, the next uh, lesson that they need to learn. 
All right. So over here, and I have said that, and I like it when things match uh, other readings that we're doing because it seems that there's a relationship with the energy and that's how it is. So it comes um, in your readings is that we see here that you're trying to initiate things and sometimes these things come from your past. So we see the same combination, not exactly the same cards, but the same energy coming through. So we see that you're initiating things, that you're revisiting things from your past. And that might be also when it comes to relationships. So you might be missing emotions that you had in the past relationships that you have, the support that you were getting, the understanding that you were getting, um, there's um, the passion that you used to have. So you're kind of revisiting your past, trying to feel what has happened and try to pull this energy and bring it back into your life and initiate it in a different way. But you're being a very, very creative in this um, past uh, month and this month. Although we don't see a lot of movement and a lot of progression, uh, we do see there's a lot of inner work that you're doing. And that's awesome because it doesn't matter what the world uh, does around you. What matters is what you do. So you're growing within. And that's very good because you have, um, you're creating um, the, the resources that you will need in the future to be able to work with your relationship and take it to the next level. So for now, it's not about progression so much, but it's about understanding. It's about fi finding ways when we don't feel good to be with the other person and make things work. So it is a, um, a progression, if you will, in its own way, but it's not that as a moving in, a setting and set it, set it, oh, settling down. I'm so sorry. I've been talking the whole day. Um, and going to the getting your relationship to the next level. It doesn't seem that you're so interested into getting serious, serious right now. So if you're not in a relationship and you're dating someone, probably you will not make up your mind of actually proceeding and getting yourself into a relationship, but you will be exploring it and trying to understand their ways and see if you guys are a good match. If Now, if you are in a relationship, then what that means is that you have a handful right now because you have your uh, personal life um, going so fast, not as progression, but as inner work, then you have your personal life and you feel that you have so many, um, what is it called? So many, let's say, doors open and you have to start closing some of them so that you can concentrate and uh, work on specific areas and not everything at the same time. So it seems it's going to be a pretty uh, busy uh, month within. Um, people might not be understanding this. So uh, do keep that in mind that it, people don't know what you have in your mind and people don't know what you have in your heart. So they might not understand where you're coming from. And keep that in mind because it's very important. Don't be expecting people to do things that they don't even know that exist. So don't don't expect solutions when they don't know that there is a problem. You see what I'm saying? Okay, so that was your uh, love reading for uh, April 2021. So do come back. I have a bonus coming up and go check that out. I have other readings, uh, deck reviews, a whole lot of things doing here. So do subscribe. Thank you for everything that you do for me. Thank you for being here. And it was lovely having you here. Thank you. I love you. Bye-bye. Have a good one.